this video, I'm going to try to attempt to show you how to duplicate one of your USB sticks, or whatever you have on your USB stick. So if you have a USB like this one, or you know whatever stick you have as USB, and the information that you have on it, you just like to have duplicated into another stick. Well, hopefully this will help you. It's helped me tremendously. Now the example I'm using is using Kodi TV which is already programmed on this USB which you can click on one of my other videos to figure out how to do that or to find out how to do that to program Kodi on a USB stick so I have Kodi on this stick and I want to duplicate it onto another blank stick right here so it'll be all set up and everything when I'm done which is a great thing so now that I know I already had this one programmed so I just plug that into my connection here. I'm going to plug the other thing so I can plug this in. I'm trying to do it holding an iPhone, so bear with me. I can't see the connection. Okay. <laughs> there we are. So now I just plug that into my laptop and I'm going to duplicate it. So the first thing you need to do, of course, if uh, you don't want to format, it'll pop up right away with this right here. It says, do you want to format that disk? And definitely I want to cancel there because if I do, I will wipe what I already I have on that disk, which is the Kodi programming. So I just cancel out of that for sure. Now the software is the key. It's free software that I found on the net. You too can find it, and I'll put the link in the download the download link in the description below, as well as all these notes here. I'll put in the description below this video, so you can follow them that way as well. The uh, software to look for is called Image USB. That's Image USB, and again, the link below will um, take you to the site. It's presented to uh, to us freely by Passmark, and again, you'll see their site. And then uh, when you click it, I already have it open on screen, so you can uh, notice it here, but this is the software that opens up. Now, I already have my stick, as mentioned, plugged in. The settings on this first should be this setting right here, if I can focus, it says create image from USB drive. So I have an image already on my USB stick and so I want to check this right here first. Create image from USB drive. So we do that. And then we want to do this section here in the step three which is select the location for uh, basically where we're going to put this image on our computer. Now I have mine under my users and then I have it called uh, right here this particular one that I'm going to make I have it called Kodi uh, USB stick perp test because my flash drive is purple and it's just a test so that's where it's going to be on my computer so just kind of note where you're putting it on your computer and you can do so by browsing right here on the browse button to find out where you're putting it so now we're going to create the image from the USB we know where we're putting it the next thing to do which is actually the first step but I'm kind of doing it this way is to make sure we click refresh right here um, by doing so it'll ask you refreshing the drives will clear current drives and basically let you know what's plugged into your computer so by doing so now I see that uh, USB drive that I just plugged into my computer it's showing up right here and of course I have to check the little box right here where it says uh, E drive on mine so when I check that I'm saying okay use this drive for whatever I'm doing on the software which we already have programmed which is create image from that and store it right here on my computer so now that it's all checked very simple really we just hit the create button right here and by hitting create I'm uh, just taking it painstakingly slow here to uh, try to get it across so uh, we don't make any mistakes we are creating from the USB image, whatever is on our USB at the moment, in my case it's Kodi, and it's going to go right here, right here, where we have it listed as whatever file name we put in. So I'm going to hit create and sit back. Oh, it'll pop up with these little messages. Uh, basically, you would just hit yes here, and by doing so, 
you can see the status it says USB unknown and status right here creating now it's doing a you know taking its time okay verifying is almost at 100 percent so once it verifies it here now we have the file created from the original USB stick and we're going to take that file and put it okay saying completed so that's great now that this is completed we just click OK right here which we're going to do and we can actually exit out of this soft well no we're not <laughs> scratch that we're not going to exit out of the software we're just going to um, change over what we did so what we did of course is make the USB information onto our local hard drive and we're going to take that file and put it on a USB so what I'm going to do is take my new USB stick which is right here I'm going to plug that into this side over here or wherever you want to plug it in on your drive or your laptop I should say and in doing so well, it pops up with my normal pop-up right here which I just close out if it happens on yours you can close yours out and what we're going to do is go to this button which says refresh drives so I'll click on refresh drives it says it's going to clear the status and put new stuff there which it did so now it's showing my new uh, USB drive that I just plugged in showing it as F drive and saying it's basically a 16 gig which shows a little less but it's a 16 gig and um, I had it uh, labeled beforehand but yours might just so show blank under volume name and so on but anyway that's just it, when I refresh the drive it just shows my new drive showing up there now what we really want to do first for safeguarding is take out your original drive and just lay it aside because we don't want to ruin that I want to keep your information safe from that and again just go ahead and do the refresh drives right here so only the ones you have plugged in will show click yes right there so now by doing so it just shows the one drive which I have plugged in which is this one right here and it's showing up here so I want to check that box right there put a little tick or a check into it so now my F drive which is that new USB is checked and what I want to do now is uncheck what I had right here and what I want to check now is the first one which says write image to USB drive it's the first one here write image to USB drive so that image that we just created which if it's not showing up here you need to go find it you need to hit browse right here and go through your computer till you find what you just created now mine's already here because uh, I know where it is it's under my users under my desktop and a folder I had made and then the file that I call it so now I have mine ready to go and then it's just a matter of hitting right right here and when I click right it's going to take the file I just created from the original and it's going to burn it onto my new USB drive. Of course, you get a pop-up. Just say yes to the pop-up. If I can find my mouse to say yes. And then I get another pop-up. It's saying going to erase it and put it on there. So you say yes again. And we wait for this status bar and things of that nature again. It's now writing the image we just created and putting it onto another USB stick. And uh, it's just verifying the image that was burned onto the new stick, which we have down here. Just waiting for this image to be burned onto it, which is a duplicate exactly of the original, which is pretty neat. Whatever you have on your original, maybe you have an operating system. Well, you can duplicate that onto another stick and lay it aside in a drawer somewhere say something happens to your original pull out the one in your drawer and there it is all still intact everything that was on that original is mirrored right onto your new stick pretty cool this is almost done here now and then really it's just exiting out of the software and you're done and that's it my commentary may extend it a little longer, but <laughs> in reality, it's uh, not much to it. Okay, now it's saying completed. We got the completed sign, so we're just going to click OK on that software right there. 
click OK. And right here in the status it says completed, verifying passed. And you can see the status bar down here done all the way. So basically we're done. We're just going to exit out of the software now down here. So exit out. Uh, first I'm going to uh, just open up my uh, notepad with my notes there so my desktop don't show. But uh, we're just uh, on that software. I'm going to click exit and the software will disappear off my screen. And I'm left with just my notes. And basically I'm done. So now this right here, this USB right here, I'm going to uh, disconnect it from my computer. We're done. Um, you can stop watching if you want. <laughs> I'm not just explaining it fully. Exiting out so now I can um, take off this out of my computer. Now, this USB stick right here, I'm going to lay it on top of my computer. This is an exact duplicate of the information that was originally on this. So I took this one originally, put it into my laptop, I burned this image using that uh, USB image software. I, I burned this image onto my laptop and then I took that image that was on my laptop and I burned it onto this. So now if I was to plug in this here and launch my uh, operating system that I have on this, um, if I took it out completely and put this one in, it would show the exact same information that I have on this one. So there you have it, just that simple. Duplicating USB sticks. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for tuning in.